What is up everybody? Today we're going to take a look at this right here. The Ruko U11. And here's this fancy uh, metallic box that it comes in as the camera going nuts. But anyway, uh, on the side of the box is the uh, QR codes. So you can download the app and get that all installed before you even open the box. And then on the other side of the box it tells you a couple of the features. 4K camera, FPV feed, uh, GPS, uh, altitude hold and um, 40 minutes flight time because it has two batteries it comes with two batteries so that's pretty cool let's check it out all right here's a super nice case it comes in and if you flip that open you got a little manual at the top right there user manual has everything in there you might possibly need plus they give you this real cool quick start guide and getting this thing off the ground is pretty straightforward it's pretty easy and then you open that and then all the good stuff's in there all right guys here's uh what's in the case right here all the good stuff you get a couple of these batteries and they're 7.4 1200s you see that right there looks good pretty decent sized battery um here's the uh, remote right here it's real easy there's the on and off the return to home high low uh circle mode follow me and there's your gps uh, button and your phone holder real simple stuff and then there are your charge cables, USB cables. I think it's USB-C, if I'm not mistaken. Here's some spare props. Here's uh, the screwdriver and the screws for the props. And then they give you a couple extra gears for the motor. I mean, this is brushless, uh, the brushed motors, I mean. So in case one of them gears go bad, they give you two two extra ones so that's I actually have never seen that anybody give you any of them extra sprockets so that's that pretty neat so anyway to get this thing going it's very uh, it's very straightforward it's very easy so when you download the app the icon for the app is going to look like that right there where it says Ruko see that right there yeah so you just turn on the drone Oh, and it, the drone, by the way, is right here and has the micro SD card in the bottom. There's the camera. It's motorized, and there's how you put the, there's where the battery goes, right there. Easy stuff. So you turn it on by holding this button in on the bottom. So there that goes. And now it's going to wait for the transmitter to be turned on. Now that's going to bind up. I'll just move the stick up and down. So now it's going to sit here and wait for the interaction. So you want to go get the Wi-Fi hooked up. And that's going to be this one here called Drone 37908A. So that's the one you're going to grab. Okay, so once you grab that, you're going to come back here to the Ruko app and hit that. And it's going to want you to do a compass calibration right off the bat. Okay, every time you turn that on, that's going to, that's going to come up. So we're just going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so now that I'm inside here, the GPS accuracy test I'm not going to do. So we're going to skip that. And then you can see by the camera here, let me hold this up. You see, the video is working flawlessly. <laughs> okay, so all good, all good. Now, of course, it says weak GPS signal because I'm inside. Okay, so that, that goes without saying. But if you go in here into the settings... There's all these uh, parameters here for your uh, height and your distance and all that stuff. So you just want to just go over all that stuff and put it the way you want it. If you want to put it in the beginner mode, you can. If you don't, you can. Your speed, you can set all that in from, from the app. But you can also set that from the, from the quadcopter itself or from the controller itself. Right in here is the high-low switch for the speed. There's the third rate, second rate, or first rate. Here's the second rate, and there's the third rate. And then you got your GPS switch on and off. You see that right there? That turns that off, okay? And then it has this follow me and then the circle mode. So it's really not that uh, complicated. I got a good idea. Let's go fly it. And then, <laughs> oh, I forgot. Here's the gimbal switch right here. The, the gimbal going up and down yeah works great 
All right, let's go fly it. All righty. <laughs> okay, we're out here with our Ruko U11 for our little unboxing after after unboxing flight. And we're doing the compass calibration now. Then wants to do the accuracy test of the GPS. You don't have to do it. You can override that if you don't. I'm just going to let it do it for a minute. I was trying to hide away from the sun. All of a sudden it got, you know, this Pittsburgh weather, right? It's 31 degrees one day and then the next day it's 82. Okay. Well, that's the way it works in Pittsburgh. It's a Pittsburgh thing. Okay. It has its success. Okay. So now it's in the GPS mode. All right. So why don't we uh, just start some video and then take off for a little bit and fly it around some. Let me start the video up. Let's just take off and see how she flies. Oh, it takes off fast. It don't, uh, it don't start up the, it's a little bit windy. Um, you can see the trees blowing a little bit, but I got to get it out here and fly it a little bit. I want to see what it, how, how it acts here. But the gimbal's working. Okay. Okay. So one, two, one, two, three. Okay. So it has three rates of speed. Now this is a brushed motor quad. It's not brushless motors. It is bopping around a little bit because of the wind, you know, it is what it is, but it is actually acting pretty stable. Yeah, it's flying decently. Let's go over here. I'm gonna try this little. Up oh, the app froze. Okay, so that's not good. I have to restart the app. Well, I want to be able to get some kind of video in here because I don't know if the other video got corrupted. You get a, when you get a drone like this, when the app starts crashing, you're in for a world of grief. This is what I mean by grief of when the apps don't work good. I just want to at least be able to get a couple of seconds of video for you guys to see, you know. Okay, now let me get to the follow me. <laughs> now let's see if that'll work. Yep. Once you get a quad with a buggy app, forget it. Yeah, don't waste your energy. Okay, I'm going to go with the follow me. Well, I guess it kind of works. It's following the transmitter, no doubt. But it is kind of working. Yeah, so I guess it's kind of working. So I turned it off. Now, okay, it's in the third rate. Yeah, it floats. It's very, it's very floaty. But hey, at least it flies, right? Okay, so I hit it and it's turning. You know, it's really not doing a whole lot. Unless it's just slow. Okay. I guess it's one of them I have to set the parameters. 
so. Okay. I mean, it seems to steer pretty decently, you know, even though it does do that right there. It, it dive bombs, you know, as you're, as you're making turns. As you're coming out of turns and stuff, it'll start going down toward the ground as you see it doing right there. And that is part of the, the barometer in there, the altitude barometer. It's not, uh, it's not quality, you know. So, okay, I'm gonna stop this video so at least we have a little bit of video to show you. There's only 28% of the battery left anyway. So I'm gonna land it. Uh, we'll get a bigger, better flight at the park. Uh, yeah, I'm not real happy with the app crashing like that. That just ruins everything, you know. It ruins all the, you know, all the gumption you got going into the thing. You know, you're sitting there all psyched up to fly it and all that, and then the app freezes. You know, that's a, that's a real bummer. All right, guys. Stay tuned. <laughs>